Hello everyone, and welcome to another Dead by Daylight video. This time, I'm trying to survive on my own. And I find myself in the treatment theater. Fun places area. Sometimes you can get pretty good variations, and sometimes you can get pretty bad ones. I always seem to get bad ones as survivor. But we'll see how it goes. Hopefully my teammates will do what they're supposed to. So I'm just seeing what rooms are open and planning out how I would run around if the killer comes over. After I got a pretty good idea of that, I'm just gonna work here. But I hear the killer. Well, saw him, rather, and just, so just ran, so he wanted to chainsaw me. So, now I'm gonna go back to that gem. Because we still need to get them done. And, uh, would you look at that? There's two injured people here. They really need to get some distance before they both get downed. Off to a good start, you know, five gems, two people injured. Okay. I think he may have heard me, so I'm just gonna try and walk this way. Because I need to approach the hook in a way where he will not see me. Wait. That person better not save, they're freaking injured. Okay, let's see where he's going. Still patrolling, because I think he saw the Meg. Trying to wait for him to get a little farther away before I save, and uh. Alrighty then. Well. He'll go chase those scratch marks. I'll just work on the gen here. Ooh, the borrowed time. Well, at least she wasn't completely sandbagged. Hey, Meg, or Claudette. Fine. She's just leaving, not even helping. Okay. Ooh, he's bringing her here. Oh, Meg. You you got the smart ideas here. Body blocking the hook. Nope. Nope. You're not gonna hook her. Nope. Nope. Nice. Hopefully uh, Meg can get away. And he's tunnel visioning on her, which is good for me. Oh look, there's Claudette here. Poor Meg. But hey, at least we uh, wasted a little time. Can we get a gen done now? Yeah, you guys do that. I'll find a different generator to get started on. While he patrols the area again. These other survivors are pretty altruistic, which is good, because that means I know I can count on them to go for saves and not sit in a corner. So I'll do this while they get chased. And hopefully finish it. Because uh, this is starting to drag on for longer than I'd like. She's getting healed. I don't need the altruism, but I do need this generator to be repaired. I don't know why the other Meg is so scared, but... Just keep looking out for that killer. Wow, really? Locker plays? The locker plays are always the riskiest, but since I know where those two megs are, I'll go over here to get her. You just gotta make sure he doesn't see me, so I gotta play this right. Super sneaky style. Can't stay still too long or I'll get crows. But can't get spotted by the killer. Okay, we're going in. Okay, wait. Can Now we're going in. Okay. Yeah, I don't blame you. After finding one person in a locker, you might think other people will hide in lockers. He's, he's still hard patrolling. 
I don't have borrowed time, so I don't want to sandbag her. There goes a the gen. Yeah, go to the gen hill, Billy. Okay, no, this is not the direction you're supposed to go. Okay, oh, 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 wow, well, he didn't see me. Okay, let's get you, Meg. He's probably going to the gen that popped after whatever. Okay, I'll go this way to split up the scratch marks. Hopefully he chases me and not the injured person. I think I got lucky, guys. I've been chosen. Yep, there you are. Can't chainsaw me, so I'll just move here. What kind of killer are you? You don't respect. Nice. Let's get this live going. Ooh, there's a pallet here. Let's go ahead and loop them. Overshot that a little bit. Just a little. Oh. Whoa! He's greedy for that chainsaw, though. He could have hit me right there, but he wanted that chainsaw really bad. Okay, let's go this way, because he went that way. And uh, where are you, Mr. Killer? Okay, he's still over there. Rip. That's why you gotta be super careful on Treatment Center to never be in any, any corners, and when you're running, you have to make sure to stay away from areas where you could get cornered in. Because it's so easy for Hillbilly to just body block you and insta chainsaw. Leather faces, too. I can say that I have successfully never been cornered in a long time. Mostly because I am super aware about my surroundings. And I play a lot of hillbilly, so I know what to watch out for. Because hillbilly is one of my favorite killers to play. I just love his mobility. Okay, can you go away? Well, at least other people are doing gens. It sounds like he's leaving, so I'll get you and... I'll distract the killer you run, Claudette, okay? Hey, chase me, buddy. Ooh, nice. He ran into that. Okay, he's breaking it, so I'll lead him away from the healing people. Let's go to the library. It's the fun place. Okay, he's not going to chase me to the library. Oh, poor Claudette can't catch a break. Well, yes, I will... Do a gen over here, if it's not done. Awesome, guys. Good job. Okay, let's get out of here. Well, first I want to see what direction this hillbilly is going. Okay, you guys get the exit gates. I'll get the save. Okay, he's coming. Please do not be going around the outer rim. Awesome, he went through the middle. Okay, got lucky there. I got- we'll make it. I can heal you to full super fast. You guys just get the exits. We'll be golden. Was not expecting the Noed on a hillbilly. Of all killers to run Noed on, hillbilly is the one- one of the ones you least expected on. Because, you know, he has a chainsaw. He can uh, body block the exit pretty well with his chainsaw and um, insta-down you with his insta-down chainsaw, but uh... If you want to run Noed because you don't feel secure enough in your abilities as a killer, go ahead, buddy. Uh, I know he chainsawed one way, so I'll go this way. I think that one was a legit chainsaw. These, uh... Survivors... Seem to get caught a lot. Being the fact that I'm the only one that he basically refused to chase. Like, he chased me for a little bit, and then the second time he saw me, he literally did not chase me at all since the stun. Okay, so now I have a decision. Do I leave, or do I attempt to save one of them? I'll go for the risky play. Let's go for the save. <laughs> Okay, so I'm thinking, I know this guy doesn't have barbecue. Oh, 
Here's no end. Okay, if we can get rid of this totem, we can pull off a save. Okay, good. So the slug is closest, and I'm pretty sure this hillbilly doesn't have nurses, judging from the fact that everybody was healing in his terror radius, and he never really, uh, you know, homing missiles onto any of them. And I'm pretty sure he's camping. Judging from his behavior all game, he's been camping the hooks and hard patrolling the hooks really, really hard. So I'm guessing the slug is my best bet to get a successful save here. And he's probably, he's chainsawing around, but I'm not worried. He obviously doesn't know where we are. He doesn't have Deerstalker because he didn't come directly here where the slug was. And he's in heartbeat radius, but he has not come over here, which means he does not have Nurse's Calling like I suspected. Unfortunately, Meg dies. I, I'm only one survivor. I could only save one of them, and... I'm pretty sure this hillbilly really wants to secure his kill, so he was probably camping the hooked person harder than the slug. Well, that was my assumption, and I was correct in my assumption. And look, Cloud, it's following me, so we're both gonna get out here. Yeah. So, uh, don't always be intimidated by those uh, tough situations there, because that was a really scary situation. But... I saved a Claudette from death, and I am better off for it. Oh, this hillbilly's name. He did have add-ons, so that may explain some of the chainsaws going on there. But, uh, yeah, overall, that was a better game than I was expecting, because once I saw the Noah, I was like, uh... I was really considering leaving her, but risky plays are the best plays, and... It's always good to try out new, you know? Help out your team. Well, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, good luck out there in the fog, and see ya next time.